Yeah, like I could teach you how to be funny in one single video. <laughs> Seriously. I'm Cody Dorkin, owner of Studio 24, one of the largest TV and film acting studios in California. I worked in LA as an actor for over 15 years, working on over 100 TV shows and movies. At Studio 24, we help aspiring actors gain the knowledge, the tools, and the skill they need to make acting their career. Get ready. We're turning your dreams into reality right now. You know, I used to think that crying on cue was more difficult than comedy. And now it's completely the opposite. Comedy is so much more difficult for so many actors. And in fact, the actors that I deal with, nine out of 10 of them are going to prefer drama over comedy. I liken the difference between drama and comedy to cooking and baking. Cooking's fun because you can put in whatever you want and add a little of this and add a little of that and make it your own and it's gonna end up being okay. Comedy is not that. Comedy is baking and this is why I hate baking. It's incredibly technical. A lot of times I think I'm gonna make a cookie but I add a little extra and I'm like, oh, I want a little bit sweeter so I add more sugar and it comes out like a piece of bread. The point is you cannot alter the comedy and the structure of the comedy. The writers have already put that in. It is really up to the actor to recognize where the comedy is understand the technique that goes into it, set up those jokes, and then execute it with precision. So there are some general rules in comedy that will make it funnier. And the first thing that I can say is pacing. Faster is funnier. If you drag through the delivery of a line of dialogue or really rooted into truth, it's not gonna have comedy. You do not want your audience to be ahead of your scene. So that's why it's gotta really kinda snip along. Stephanie Waldorf doesn't do breaks. Stephanie Waldorf doesn't give up. Stephanie Waldorf is a winner. So, when in doubt, trust me, go faster. There are beats in comedy that you are gonna have to slow down for, and this is scripted. You'll see these beats. Sometimes they're represented as a beat, like literally in the script, or it'll say then. Either way, there's gonna be a joke that follows that beat, but you gotta set it up. That period of time has to be there, and then it has to be hit. An example of that would be, uh, uh, yeah, of course I shut the door before I left. Beat, I think. Okay, but without that beat, it's actually not gonna work. Um, yeah, of course I shut the door uh, before I left, I think. See, there's no joke there. It really needs that beat and that transition to actually hit as a joke. I'll see myself back to class. Good day. Comedy follows setup, setup joke, and there's no more obvious uh, format than multi-camera sitcoms. So if you really want to see and study the comedy, watch multi-camera. A setup, setup joke. It leads, leads, and then normally goes in a different direction, different tone, um, or something hits as far as like a character. It's like yes, yes, no, okay, or it could be no, no, yes. As long as it's going in a different direction, one and two is the same and the third is different, there's gonna be a joke that's gonna hit there. The other thing is characters. There are some characters that you see repeat and repeat and repeat on sitcoms. And that's because we need these strong character types. They're just bigger than life and we laugh at them because we, ah, I have a friend that's like that or oh, my uncle's you know, like this guy. But they're an exaggerated version of real life. And generally the tone of comedy is a lot lighter uh, as well. It's up here, you know, so it's, it can't be like sad and it can't be like rooted down here because if somebody say, well, I just don't know uh, why you left. Then that is obviously very sad and not very funny. But if you go, I just don't understand why you left, and the tone is a little bit higher, then all of a sudden we're up in comedy land where people can actually go, oh, I think I can laugh at that. Down here, drama. Nobody's going to laugh. I'm Dr. Lee. You're late. I've been here for an hour. Yes, I do apologize. We're a bit backed up today. Ew, why did you say it like that? Sounds like you can't pass a bowel. Are your parents around here somewhere? Perhaps I could speak to them. The other thing is contrast. Character dynamic contrast. There's always a character in a scene that's gonna be here, and there's always one that's down here. And that creates this fun dynamic between these characters. So, for example, if I was frustrated, and, and this character is frustrated, then this one has to be the opposite of frustrated. You know, so there might be light. I don't even know what you're talking about. Just come down. What do you mean, what am I talking about? I mean, chill out, you know? And so you've got to have that contrast there for this to work and to go round and round in comedy. Always about that. You know what I'm talking about? Honestly, I 
don't think I do. You know what? I think I see my friend over there. Over where? She's smoking hot like you? The last thing that I will mention is commitment. Without a full 100% commitment behind your comedy work, it won't be funny, okay? Because you're gonna doubt it. You're gonna doubt it and you're gonna hang back here. And so instead of going 100% and like committing to it, then you're like, oh, I don't know if it's gonna, people are gonna laugh at me. And so you're like 50%, 60%, 70%, and it's actually not gonna hit. You gotta have 100% full commitment. Think of your favorite comedian. They don't feel silly doing that stuff. If they did, you wouldn't be laughing, I promise. So make sure you have full commitment behind your comedy as well. If you do these things, trust me, you'll be funnier. Your scenes are gonna be funnier. Your work is gonna be funnier. Have fun. Thank you.